We've done it. We've been able to set up a PDM server and connect to it. Let's open up the PDM browser and actually see what we can do. Here we go. Beginning in Alibre version 28 and beyond, we are greeted with this safe symbol on our home screen. And this of course opens up our PDM browser. When I open it up, I see this interface and uh, you can see that I have libraries, projects, and recycle, and of course, nothing saved in them so far. If we wish to connect to a safe rather than running our own, we can use this connect to safe icon. And what comes up is our ability to select different safes to connect to. Any previous connections that I have are located down here. And if I'm connected to an IP address that has more than one safe, I can also toggle between those safes at that IP address. I can select a new connection over here, and all I have to do is type in HTTP colon slash slash, and then the IP address of the safe, as well as the port to communicate, usually port 5000. I also have the option to specify credentials and give the username and password that I have been given from the person running the safe. Once I'm connected to a safe, I may ask, how do I import files? Well, first, maybe I'll start making a project here. I'll right click on projects and enter a new project. I'll make a project entitled do nothing. And after I okay that, a do nothing project is created. So let's get some files in there. Here in Olibre, I have this do nothing machine. I like it quite a lot as I can spin this crank around and even though it looks cool, it uh, does particularly nothing. But let's say that I'd like to import this into my safe. Well, let's make a quick adjustment on our settings that will allow us to be able to do so. We'll go to file and system options. And from our system options menu, we can see that we are saving files to Windows. Let's move over to PDM. We'll select that. So now when we go to save files, we're asked where in the PDM do we wish to save them. And while we're here, I'll click on PDM settings down here. And I suggest that this box remain checked. This will allow the PDM to run a lot more smoothly. So we're going to say OK to that. And I'll go to save. This, this is our new save dialog now that we're saving things into the PDM and a few things to note. We have this option to check into safe. If I select this, then whatever I save will be checked in, meaning that it will be available to view by everyone who is also working on that safe. You can see the files that are gonna be saved here, and I have some warnings, review warnings before saving. And when I hover over my warning, I can see that it reads this file is being copied from the file system to the safe. That means that there's going to be some duplicates, right? I'll have the files in my Windows system still, but also the files on the safe. And that's okay with me to have duplicates. So I'm going to say, okay. And now we are saving and uploading and checking into the safe. And just like that, I can see in my safe what that's gonna look like. So in the Do Nothing project, I now have all of these files saved. You'll notice that I have a lock symbol here, and that means that I currently have this file open, so it is locked to others for editing. They will be warned that this is a locked file if they try to edit it. Perhaps I'd like to organize things a little bit more. I'll Go ahead in my Do Nothing project and right click for a new folder. And I'll give this folder name. We'll call it Parts. And let's say that I'd like to move all of these parts into my Part folder. I can select everything, uh, right click on my selected parts, and move. We'll go ahead and select a folder to move to, which of course I know I want to be in Projects, Do Nothing, and in my Parts folder. You'll notice that I was able to make this move with my assembly still open. Furthermore, if I close and open my assembly, you may remember that moving files around will generally make CAD assemblies lose their parts. 
But here we've been able to reopen our assembly without any issue of finding the parts. So whether we're working with assemblies, booleans, bills of materials, or any situation where we have to reference external files, if they're in the Libre PDM, we don't lose our parts anymore. We can uh, freely move our parts around and the Libre knows exactly where to find them. So that is our do nothing machine. Perhaps I would like to perform the same thing, but with a little bit more complicated example. So I'll make a new project for my more complex example, and I'll call it radial. Now I have two projects. I have my do nothing project and my radial project. Let's open those files. Here I have this uh, impressive radial engine assembly in Alibre, and I would sure like to save this into my safe as well. So as before, I'll say File, Save As, and here I'll select to uh, check into the safe, and I'll select my folder. I can choose my Do Not or my Radio Project rather, and go ahead and save it. But let's say that I but let's say that I accidentally selected the wrong folder, the Do Nothing Project folder, and by accident I go ahead and save. Well, let's go ahead and see what that looks like in our safe now. So here in the Do Nothing project, I have all kinds of parts now. And what can I do to make it right if I wanted to have things go from the Do Nothing project into this radio project? Well, fortunately, fortunately here we have certain columns, right? We can, uh, we can sort the type of part so I can filter all of my assemblies up top, my folders, and my parts. We can also sort by name if I wish to have everything in alphabetical order, A to Z, or Z to A. Additionally, I can of course sort by locked, or who is locking the part, as discussed earlier. And we have uh, sort by versions, so we can have the most, we can have the files with the most versions up top. And last modified, so we can sort by our most recent files here. We can also sort by size if we're looking for a particularly large file. But in this case, we have a whole bunch of files that uh, we want to move. And maybe what makes the most sense is selecting the first, holding control shift, selecting the last, and then I can hold control and deselect any of the parts that I uh, don't think apply, which in my case, of course, is the parts folder, which isn't selected, and the do nothing machine, which would be here. And then I can work on moving everything that's selected. But that may not work if there's two large assemblies working together. So perhaps a better approach is I can go find my assembly the top level item that I moved in mistakenly. I'll right click on it and I can say move with constituents. And that means I'm able to move along with all of the parts that it references. And I can select the target location I'd like to move it to, which in my case is the radial project. And you'll see that I have a grayed out OK button. But I'm given a warning here that says the file is open. I'll need to close my file and try again. So I'll go ahead and close it. And now my OK button is A-OK. -okay. So we'll say OK to that. And now this folder is looking back to how it looked before. And my radial project is full of the parts that I would like. So I'll go ahead and add some other folders. I can make a parts folder if I wish to organize by parts. And of course, I can sort by type now, so I can choose my first part, my last part, and hold control shift to select everything. And then we'll say move and select my target location to my parts folder within my radial project. With all of my parts moved, I can select my first assembly and my last. And while holding control, I will deselect my top level assembly and I can move all of these somewhere if I'd like. We'll say into our subassemblies folder again. 
we'll move and select our new folder. And we've been able to organize these files and we will not have to worry about a Libre not being able to find them. Whenever they're in the PDM browser, we'll always be able to find them. So these are ways that we can deal with moving and copying our parts and sorting the aspects of our parts that make things easier to find. And that's how we use the PDM browser in all of its fundamentals. We're going to be covering some awesome stuff in the next video that will make our abilities even more strong. See you then.